Hello again, I am Belanti. Just off screen down here is a new microphone I'm testing. It's called the Sennheiser Hand Mic Digital. And as the name might suggest, it's made by Sennheiser. It's a handheld microphone and it's digital. We're bringing our frame for you here. Now, obviously I'm not hand holding at the moment because it also comes with a microphone clip, which you can attach to any standard uh, microphone boom arm if you like. It also comes with a little desk stand thing as well. So if you don't have a microphone a boom arm or anything like that, you can still use it non-handheld, even though it's called the hand mic digital. But the thing that makes this microphone really special is its incredible flexibility. If you are a content creator that you do stuff here at your desk in your in your bedroom studio and whatnot, and you do stuff out in the world, and you go to show floors, and you're sort of out in all kinds of different environments, you know that audio quality is is the, the thing you have to concentrate most on. And I've said this before time and time again, audio quality is much more important than visual quality. If your video looks a bit crappy, but sounds good, people are still going to be able to watch your video. If your video looks amazing, but the sound is just so... People are going to switch away. People are more forgiving of lower video quality than they are of lower audio quality. So that's why I and people like me keep repeating the mantra that audio is the most important thing about video. But if you are a content creator on a lower budget, you can't afford to have a microphone for every different occasion, this thing might be able to solve most, if not all, of your issues because it is very flexible. It is very, very affordable uh, considering the prices of similar mics or the cost of a couple of different mics to suit a couple of different situations, things like that. And that magnificent flexibility comes in a couple of different forms. Firstly, digital microphone. You're listening to it right now plugged into my computer. It's plugged in via USB. Digital mic plugs in via USB, of course, duh. But it also comes with a second cable, which has a lightning port on it, so you can plug it into your iPhone or your iPad and whatnot. You don't have to have a separate sort of soundboard or mixer or or, or adapters and, and USB audio cards and all that kind of stuff and a special sort of TRS to, to the lightning port adapter for your phone and stuff. This one microphone, you just switch out the cord and it does both jobs. It's fantastic. And for the purposes of comparison, in the same environment, we are now connected directly to the iPhone. You should hear basically no difference. Uh, it also gives me opportunity to demonstrate handling noise. You uh, often get handling noise with a lot of microphones, uh, and, and when you're sort of shifting your grip, or if you're a little bit fiddly, it can create all kinds of really ugly sounds in your audio there. The capsule in this microphone is shock mounted properly. Again, Sennheiser, they know how to do this stuff by now. They've been around for a little while now. Um, so you shouldn't be able to hear any of this handling noise as I sort of shift my grip around here. The other thing worth mentioning about this microphone is the pickup pattern. It is cardioid as opposed to omnidirectional. Cardioid means it's a heart-shaped pickup pattern. Omnidirectional means it picks up from all the way around. That means this has a good uh, amount of rejection of noise off to the sides and the back. There's sort of a car driving past right now. I don't know whether you even heard that, but there was a sort of a, a sports guy just went by my window there. Um, but I can demonstrate if I just pull this thing kind of off axis, you can hear it very, very dramatically changes how I sound. And in an outdoor environment, that's even more dramatic. I'll show you that uh, when I show you the footage that I'm going to take sort of when I'm out and about out there. And when this thing is plugged into your phone, you can actually load up an app from Apogee. Apogee are a company that Sennheiser have partnered with for this product, uh, and they built the onboard digital audio converter, I think, or the onboard preamp or both, one of the other. It doesn't matter. Some of the technology in there is from Apogee, which means it works with their app, which means you can use their app to fiddle with things like gain with rumble and, and rejection and things like that. And the limiter, that's one of the most amazing things about this microphone. And they don't advertise it anywhere. It's like a secret feature, but it has an onboard limiter. If you're new to audio design and things like that, a limiter basically means, you know, when you, when you get too loud into a microphone and it distorts, it caps out, it sounds terrible. This thing has technology in it to lower the sensitivity automatically if things start to get too loud. So it always tries to stop that sort of distortion happening when you get really, really loud. And you can adjust that to your needs as well. You can adjust how much that limiter affects things. So you can fine tune it, which makes this an incredibly powerful tool. So you can do things like this in a nice, reasonably quiet studio environment, or you can take it out onto a show floor or a concert or, or a noisy street, and you can fully adjust how this thing behaves in those environments to get the best sound possible. So here's a prime example, by the way, of when this kind of microphone can come in invaluable. Here I am down here on a beautiful, cool morning 
down at Sydney Harbour, the bridge and there's this opera house in the background. It's a lovely thing. Maybe you're doing an interview down here because it's pretty. Maybe you're doing a travel vlog or something like that. But without this microphone, you couldn't get this shot. Let me show you why. And this is why. This distance from the camera in a location like this with wind and waves and people and boat engines and things like that, you just can't hear me nearly as clearly as you can when I have this thing actually plugged in, can you? Now obviously the onboard mics aren't ideal for a situation like this. We're in the wind, where there's this noise around, there's people over there, there's lots and lots of traffic going by. And it's the same story with any onboard microphone for any camera. It's not a problem exclusive to the phone. Although, I will say this, the iPhone is surprisingly good. I've used the onboard microphone on my iPhone many times in videos. People said, oh, uh, I see you were filming on your iPhone. What microphone did you use? It sounds great. And I said, well, I was using onboard microphones. I'm like, however, if you want to push your production value higher than just good enough than just, okay, I can hear what's being said. If you want to work in difficult environments and actually have a level of production quality that sounds far better than the default option of the onboard microphones, this is obviously what you need. Now, obviously it's not magic. It can't automatically just make all the other noise disappear. That cardioid pickup pattern, that sort of heart-shaped pickup pattern that focuses noise just from the front is an excellent thing when what you're trying to do is reject all the other noise going on around you. The downside of having a microphone like this, and this is why, by the way, a lot of what they call ENG microphones, electronic news gathering, a lot of those microphones designed for interviews and things like that on camera are omnidirectional. They pick up noise from all around them. Because if I'm standing here next to someone having a conversation and they interrupt me while I'm saying something, they're not going to be on mic with this microphone. They're going to be off axis. You're barely going to hear them. you got to have you got to have that good microphone technique. you got to be constantly thinking about who the microphone is pointing at and when. Otherwise, you're going to get that thing that you often hear in, in videos where people don't have good microphone technique. The omnidirectional microphone solves that issue. You can just sort of hold it between you and it works fine. But the trade-off with the omnidirectional microphones is that it will also pick up all of this environmental noise around me. And I'm just going to switch over to the onboard mics again to remind you just how noisy that is. So there we go. We're unplugged and once more you can hear exactly how noisy this environment is now. Obviously, if I was dealing with a handheld microphone, even an omnidirectional one, you'd still get all of this noise. You'd hear me a little bit better because of the proximity effect of the microphone, but you'd still be dealing with all this environmental noise. That's why I love this. But there you are. I've been on the search for quite some time now for a lightweight, tough, high quality, flexible microphone that I can use with my uh, MacBook and I can use with my iPhone for when I'm traveling in particular. Because sometimes when I'm traveling, you know, I'm recording stuff at events or, or, or special press launches, things like that. Sometimes I'm overseas when I'm doing that. And I edit stuff in my hotel room. Sometimes I like to jam out a little video right there and then. And that requires uh, quite often recording a bit to camera or doing a voiceover. And I've usually done that with uh, the, the uh, little video micro uh, the Rode video micro that I use for the uh, you know on-camera microphone for my camera, um, that's not ideal. And because of the way the MacBook sort of operates its audio chain, it doesn't work directly with that. So I have to record it into my phone using a little adapter, which I have to keep with me to transfer the TRS connected to the lightning port. And then I have to get the audio file off the iPhone back onto the Mac to throw onto the edit and things like that. With this, I can do it all in one. I can edit, you know, film and do everything on the phone if I want to. Everything can record there and I can sort of edit there or I can move that stuff over the Mac or I can record directly into the Mac when I'm doing the uh, thing here. The only missing piece of the chain, as far as I'm concerned, is I would also like to have an option to go straight into my camera, but that would require some sort of um, active cable because it is a digital output versus an analog input on my camera. So I don't know whether there's a solution for that, Sennheiser, but if you're listening... Uh, a little sort of active cable that'll go into a uh, standard 3.5 mil microphone port so I can use this with the camera and with my phone and with my computer all in one. That'd be aces. But as it stands, this now, uh, like I said, I've been on the hunt for quite some time for a, a, a microphone that can sort of, I can travel with to get better quality than the uh, Rode Video Micro that I use with the camera for what I'm doing in the hotel room sort of recording and voiceovers and things like that. And this is it. My most recent go-to microphone was the uh, the Razer Siren X, which is a little compact USB microphone, and that's fine. But this is even better than that for my travel needs because I can use that 
with the phone when I'm on sort of out in the street or on the show floor trying to do interviews and stuff. I don't even have to sort of film with this when I'm using this microphone either. Another way you can do it is you record the audio into this using this microphone, into your phone using this microphone, and then sync it up with the camera later. So that way you have what is essentially a wireless sort of microphone pack. Um, so you don't have to have a cable running to your camera. You don't have to use one of the, the, the radio microphones, which have issues of their own on show floors with interference and things like that, with so many Wi-Fi and other radio signals bouncing around all the time. This is a superb bit of equipment to invest in if you are sort of that that sort of a YouTuber, basically. You do stuff at home. You do stuff out in the world. You need to do interview stuff. You need to do stuff here at the desk and record voiceovers, do, do two camera bits and reject the noise from the window out there and all that kind of stuff. Here it is, the solution. So thanks very much for watching. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time. And uh, thank you to Sennheiser for letting me check this out. They're not, it's not a sponsored video or anything, but they did send me this to check out. And thanks. Which is how you're listening to me now, but it also comes with a second cable, which is this one here, which has a lightning port on it. So it goes into your iOS devices, into your iPhone, into your iPad, and I'm going to have to stop this recording just on the chance that that incredibly noisy garbage truck outside is coming through and ruining this for you because you're supposed to be listening to how this microphone sounds and not being distracted by the garbage truck. I don't know how the garbage trucks always know when I start recording. It's uncanny every morning. No matter what time of the morning I start recording, press the, th press the button to, to record and then it summons a garbage truck like f magic.